Through my paintings, I get to focus on trying to convey emotions through my brush strokes and really connect the audience with a story. So the first semester at Texas A&M for me was trying to learn how to balance school, the core, life, and do it at a 2.0 or better. Unfortunately, <laughs> I had one credit hour of passing grade. Failing all my classes ended up being one of the best things that could have ever happened to me. Retaking all those courses allowed me to meet my future wife, Katie. Senior year, I proposed to Katie. She said yes. I found a dream that, came true. that October, she had noticed a knot in my neck that seemingly wasn't going away, but was actually getting bigger. It came back as cancer. We had $723 to our name. I couldn't sleep a lot, so by God's grace, I was able to make art at night. I feel like art at that time in my life was an escape from the reality that I was in. I think going through that trial really, in a way, unlocked something in me that I wasn't aware was even there. And it was a purpose, and that purpose was to make art and bring joy to people. Cancer was now in the rearview mirror. We got to focus on our future and enter our careers. During that time, art was on the back burner, but it was always there. I was constantly doing commissions for people. It was my second job. So in the summer of 2023, I just put in my notice at work, talk to my boss, tell him that I'm going to quit and pursue art full time. Just three hours after that, making dinner for my family, and I get a phone call from Texas A&M, and they want to commission a painting. They had no knowledge of what had just transpired, but it was 100% affirmation for the decision that we had just made and that leap of faith. One of the best parts about getting to create art full time is being able to share it with my four daughters and allow them to experience the A&M traditions and my love for Texas A&M. I'm here because people helped me. Now I have the opportunity to use my gifts to help other people.